My name is Eric Lane Barnes, and I'm the Associate Artistic Director of Flying House Productions, which is Seattle Men's Chorus, Seattle Women's Chorus, Sensible Shoes, and Captain Smarty Pants. We Can Do It is um, it's a, it's the story of um, the Rosie the Riveters from World War II. As many people know, um, in World War II, uh, there was a, a, many of the, the men, the workforce that we had been used to filling the workforce was over in Europe and, and uh, Asia fighting the war. And so we needed, the country needed people to create the planes, the tanks, the materiel, the materiel. Um, you know, everything that goes into the me mechanics of war, um, they needed to, to be done. And so they, they made a, a, a call for women to fill the workforce. And um, at first it was a kind of a strange thing because women had never been invited to step into the workforce. Um, but a lot of women were um, eager and willing to do it. And at first the call was for single unmarried women. And so then they found that as the war went on, they needed more and more, and these women were doing a great job. So then married women that didn't have children, then married women with children, then older women, and then women of color. Women of color were among the, the last to be invited to, to work alongside um, the, the other women. Because of the contribution of these women, we won the war. And I don't think it's an overstatement to say that, because if they hadn't stepped in to create everything we needed to make the war work, the war wouldn't have happened. And even though the workforce went back to being a male-dominated workforce after uh, the, the women left the, the, the factories and plants, um, the landscape changed. The idea in America changed about what work is and, and who can work and that kind of thing. Now, it took many, many, many years and we're still experiencing a great disparity between um, equality in the workforce in terms of pay, hours, uh, seniority, promotions, that kind of thing. But um, I, I think it's equally safe to say that uh, the women opened that door. The women that did this work in the munitions plant opened the door for what we experience now as, as women in the workforce. And there's still a lot of work to do, and so we can do it. <laughs> What I tried to do was uh, write the songs in the style of 40s music, and I've always loved swing music, so it was kind of like I got to write as if I were actually living in, in this era. I would say probably my favorite moment is um, probably the most heartfelt moment, and um, I actually cried as I wrote the song. It's called The Doors You Open. I might actually cry talking about it. Um, and it's, it's the second to last song, and it's women of today singing to the women back then and saying, because of this, we have this. Um, and the, 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 um, the chorus is, the doors you opened are open still. Some have forgotten, we never will. <laughs>